And now it's only a matter of time before you post this somewhere on the internet for all your little followers to hear. And you'll sit back and revel in their faint, slobbering praise while enjoying your 15 megabytes of fame. You really never know what kind of secrets you're going to find in a video game. And the same can be said about this episode today, as we're going to check out seven completely random Easter eggs that cover a wide variety of topics. From an Easter egg that took years to discover, to several secret games that bizarrely includes Hide and Seek, Fan and a Medal of Honor title, and of course there's a splattering of crazy, wacky, and what the f Easter eggs that I think you'll enjoy, as this is the Easter Egg Hunter. Over the years we have covered a number of easter eggs that have taken years to discover after a game's release, and it was the awesome YouTuber Malfitimus Blackimus who brought this upcoming easter egg to our attention earlier on in the year. A secret that was found in Half-Life Decay and a title that was ported to the PlayStation 2 back in 2001. As on Mission 5, known as Domestic Violence, it is shortly after starting that you can enter the swimming pool area and find the corpse of the security guard floating in the water. And Marfitimus discovered that this body was specially scripted and given a health of 3000, which is apparently three times as strong as a gargantua. And if you decide to bash or blast upon the body for quite some time, then you'll be rewarded with this tiny secret. Next up is Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, which is certainly no stranger to the channel after we covered this crazy easter egg found at the end of the game. But this time we're going to follow the quest known as Carnival of Death, which leads you to the pursuit of a serial killer on the loose on the streets of LA. And once you reach the warehouse found opposite the bar the last round, it's inside where you'll discover the serial killer's latest victim, who has been impaled on the snap reinforcing bars above and below on the floor, you can find the victim's head. It's a pretty grisly scene and you might take some time out to decide what to do next and it's at this point when you could always brush up on your basketball skills until you have decided how to proceed. Recently I covered the easter eggs in Kojima's Death Stranding and it's quite amazing how many secrets there are and particularly within the private room and unsurprisingly I actually missed quite a few. And the two I want to focus in on include the one where you stare at Sam's feet. As in my original video I pointed out that yeah Sam starts to tap them but what I didn't know at the time is that there is a chance that an easter egg featuring Kojima will appear. While the second easter egg can be initiated a little later on in the game, once the monster energy drinks have been replaced with beer. As allowing Sam to drink them, not only will he act in a drunken manner around BB, but if you happen to drink three in a row, then this secret fourth wall break will happen. Face. 
Back in 2006, Electronic Arts and Jeep signed a deal that would give EA the rights for designing Willy's Jeep, a vehicle that was heavily utilised during World War II and would allow them to create this vehicle perfectly and include it in their upcoming 2007 title, Medal of Honor, Airborne. Meanwhile, over at developers Relic Entertainment, and thanks to this annoying deal, it meant that they could no longer design their Jeeps accurately for their next video game, Company of Heroes. So with that, someone decided to have a little dig at EA with the help of a little secret message that was written in Leetspeak, as by zooming in upon all the Jeeps within the game, there is a message that simply reads, EA sucks. up on uh, Nashadella. Yeah. You won't be seeing me for a while, Prof. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, Cal. One of the latest Easter eggs to be discovered was found by YouTuber X Garbit in Respawn Entertainment's Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. As midway through the first chapter, Cal, the main protagonist, will fall asleep on the train ride home, and his pal Prof, who was sitting next to him, will no longer be there once Cal awakens. And it's at this point where Cal finds him wandering through several train carriages, and just as you're about to catch up to him, the door in front of you slams shut, it can't be opened, and you're meant to turn around and continue onwards. But what happens if you try to open the door for a total of 66 times? One of Wolfenstein 3D's biggest secrets, as many of you will already know, can be found on Floor 7 in Episode 3, where not only can you discover a secret maze that from an overhead perspective shows the initials of creative director Tom Hall and developer John Romero, but it's in the maze where you can also locate a secret exit leading to Floor 10, which has been entirely based upon the arcade game of Pac-Man. And when it comes to machine games Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus, there's an arcade game machine that you can play found in the bar of Eva's Hammer that is known as Wolfstone 3D and is amazingly set in an alternative universe to Wolfenstein 3D as rather than playing as BJ Blazkowicz, you're now playing as Elite Hans and from the perspective of a Nazi soldier. These graphics sure are realistic. Feel like I'm inside the game. And what you might not know is that when you reach the secret level on floor 10 in this game, rather than being greeted by the four typical ghosts, you're now chased about by four other characters, including a shark, a caco demon from Doom, a garg, and the legendary dope fish from Tom Hall's Commander Keen series. My favourite and the final easter egg on the list today comes to us from developers 2015 games and their 2002 title Medal of Honor Allied Assault. You see once you reach Briefing 5 Day of the Tiger the first task is known as the Sniper's Last Stand where you must locate the Bazooka team, rendezvous with the tank crew then safely escort them through the entire town to the end of the level where you can steal a King Tiger tank. All right, let's take this tank and go. Now, normally the game would continue onwards for most, but if you have managed to complete this mission on the hardest setting with most of the crew intact, and in my case, seven survived, then when you reach the tank, the screen will go black. And for some utterly bizarre reason, you are then treated to a secret game of hide and seek.
Well, thank you so much for watching. And if you'd like to keep up with all the latest episodes, Easter eggs and secrets, then don't forget to subscribe. And if you have an Easter egg that you think I should check out, then you can always message me on Twitter, Instagram. You can find me at my email address or just simply leave me a comment in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to check them out. And until next time, I will see you soon.